Hello, welcome to today's video. Today is another little day in my life. Well, it's kind of just a vlog that you can relax to. I've got a few bits to do today that I wanted to bring you along with and show you. So that's really exciting. One of them being, well, I need to do a bit of a food shop because we need some things in. Need some eggs, jacket potato. Oh my gosh, it was pancake day last night. I could actually eat pancakes for dinner every day of the week. It's probably my favorite day of the year at the moment. <laughs> um, so that was delicious. But yeah, today I need to actually stock some delicious yet nutritious food into the house. Um, as well as I'm going to pop to Home Bargains. Haven't been to Home Bargains for probably like 18 months. <laughs> um, a very, very long time, but a quite a few of you have been tagging me in Home Bargains and baby items discounts at the moment. So they've got like a baby event and there's baby stuff there. And obviously I need to start getting some baby stuff because in <laughs> just over 15 weeks, there will be a baby present and um so yeah and i thought i might as well oh it's really moving at the moment i thought i might as well take advantage of um the baby event grab myself some baby stuff so i'll do like hopefully a little home bargain to haul later in the video as well um today's the first day in a very very long time that i'm i mean it's going successfully as you can see <laughs> that i've decided not to take an anti-sickness tablet um, if you don't know, <laughs> I'm very, very sick throughout my pregnancy. Um, I have been the whole way through since five weeks and um, it's definitely settled down in the second trimester, but it hasn't gone. I'm still like pretty nauseous and sick. Um, so I have been prescribed anti-sickness drugs from my GP who said I need to take them to make sure I can eat and drink and keep the baby healthy, um, which is all great. But I'm gonna see how it goes today without taking it. I only take one in the morning. So it was two a day and then I reduced it to one in the, mor one in the morning and I can get through most of the day feeling okay-ish, still nauseous, but like eating well also helps that um, keep the nausea and sickness down. So I'm gonna take away the tablet and just keep eating well today. Wish me luck, let's see how it goes for the rest of the day. Could be um, a bit of a mistake. It's also the first, I'm really rambling today. It's also the first day of Lent. If you um, do Lent, if Lent is your thing, even if you're not religious, what do you do? Do you give something up and what are you giving up this year? Instead of giving up, Lawrence and I um, set ourselves a task for 40 days. Um, in, because giving something up can seem a bit like a chore, can't it? So for the next 40 days, we're going to be walking, well, I'm going to be doing 8,000 steps and Lawrence will be doing 10,000 steps every single day for 40 days. We did this a couple of years ago and it was, worked really well. It kept us really healthy, it forced us just to get out. It starts like in the winter and by the end, you're walking in the beautiful spring and it's warm and there's flowers everywhere. So it was a really nice thing to do, like walking through the season and you just know by the end, the season will be totally different to what it is now and all the trees will have green on them. And it was just like a really good habit for us to get into. Now we're obviously at home a lot more. It's nice to, you know, incorporate exercise every single day regardless. I do try to do that anyway, because I'm trying to keep the baby healthy and myself healthy. But um, yeah, some days, I've been feeling a bit low because of COVID and it's hard to get yourself out and about when you're feeling a bit blah. I mean, it's raining today, day one of our Lent, loving it, but I'm gonna try to do my 8,000 steps today. Anyway, so yeah, I'd love to know what you're doing or if you think that's um, something you'd like to do, definitely join Lawrence and I, message me on Instagram or tag me on Instagram. Anyway, gosh, that was a bit of a ramble. I hope you're all well. Um, got my water bottle, gonna grab an apple. I might bring a bag of, where are they? Ooh. These, these are great. These keep me going. Um, it's really good to snack on nuts because they're really like healthy fatty foods with high protein. So um, I'm gonna bring these, an apple, and I'm gonna get on the road and we're gonna go to Home Bargains and do my food shop um, and yeah let's go I hope you're well by the way if you're new and this is the first video I'd love it if you could subscribe down below my name is Sophie and yeah I'm currently pregnant with my first baby and my videos are essentially just like food baby and around the home keeping things affordable living your best life and all that jazz anyway let's go oh, I make noises now when I get up also look at that where's that come from 
I've got 15, over 15 more weeks to go. Is it gonna get massive? I'm really nervous. <laughs> Home Bargains was a little bit of a letdown. Um, I hadn't been there in so long and I was kind of hoping for good things. Essentially, it was kind of just, what have we got today? Chill out sea breeze, Bath and Body Works. Essentially, I was being tagged in a lot of baby and mummy stuff and it's currently on sale on Home Bargains, which is why I decided it was a good idea to go. Um, and there's an Audi across the road, so it just really made sense for me today. I went and um, the baby stuff was like, oh, I just spilt the antibacterial cream. The baby stuff was pretty rubbish, not gonna lie. It's not a good selection. I'm wearing Lawrence, Lawrence's raincoat because it's raining. Um, not a good selection. There really wasn't anything and it wasn't even on sale. I nearly picked up a pack of um, vest bodysuits for not three months. But then I thought, you know what, I'm just buying it for the sake of it. Like, I'm just gonna look online. Um, any good sales online? There's also a Boots right next to it and I kind of looked in at their baby stuff because um, they had like a mother care baby sale, baby clothes sale. And there for about 60 seconds before I left. Um, it was very, very gender specific, which one I can't do because I don't know the gender of the baby yet. Yeah, it was just a bit too gender specific for me. Um, so yeah, back to square one. Didn't, I did manage to get a few things from Home Bargains though, I'll show you in a bit, um, along with the foodie bits that I needed for today. In terms of sickness, I'm going okay. I've had my apple. I'm going to have to snack on some nuts now because... We don't want a sick session out the window of my car on the dual carriageway, do we? So I'm gonna snack on my nuts now. And um, I suppose head home because what else is there to do? I need to do my 8,000 steps today also, so I'll take you along with that. Mm. Listen to my book. I never drive anymore I always forget to like um, listen to audiobooks but I've just got into this um, audiobook and I'm obsessed like you know when you're obsessed with a new book that's all you can think about um, this one is called In Cold Blood um, and it's by Capote what's his first name in Texas Johnny here he's my grand and he's got a sister lives in Seattle. Lavender wheat bag from Etsy. Oh, it just smells, it smells good. And it's so nice, like, I'm not wearing a jumper or cardigan today because I'm, you know, mentally pretending it's spring. <laughs> and, um, let's just close this. And this is keeping me warm. So it's really nice to have around your neck. It's really soothing. I reckon I'll need it when the birth day happens i think anyway i've got my warm water in lawrence's mug the cat dad mug this is from asda actually i'm gonna show you what i got in home bargains anyway i don't know if maybe i've got like a really small home bargains um but lots of you guys are going to home bargains at the moment and you're showing me all this stuff you're buying and i just found nothing even similar i'll tell you what i did go for as well and i didn't find called orangina so many of you said like the majority, 90% of my comments about where I can find Orangina was Home Bargains. They did not have it at this Home Bargains, so I was really disappointed. Let me show you what I got anyway. <gasps> I thought there was someone coming. 
So I needed things like toothpaste. I've got two new Oral-B toothpastes. They're 99p each. Normally I'd get those from Powerland. And um, yeah, it's good that Home Parkins had the same price. Great story, so great story. Um, a pack of these. I've got braces on the back of my teeth at the bottom and I desperately need to floss them to keep them healthy. <laughs> um, so yeah, I bought those. They're like little floss sticks and they're actually really handy. I've got some more bubble bath because I needed it. This is the Sleep Aromatherapy Soothe Your Body with Scents of Chamomile and White Valerian. Um, this one you can have, I've double checked online what you can and can't have. I think it's like the muscle soak one they advise you not to have because it has sage? Is it sage? Yeah, it has sage in and sage can bring on contractions. Um, but apparently it doesn't have enough sage in to do that, but, I'm, but I don't think anyone should take the risk anyway. Um, but yeah, this is safe for pregnancy. And I had a little potter around the garden bit of it. Oh, I bought these. For the baby, oh yeah, I need to give you a baby's room. Bought two and one has been printed upside down. Um, but yeah, they're just baby paper cotton buds. I need to show you the baby room because there's been a little update in there. Um, still got tons to do, but we've got like a really nice chest of drawers in there now, which I still need your help on because I'll show you when we're upstairs. I'll take you upstairs in a sec. Um, I did pot around. Oh, I also got these Epsom salts. I do need to check with my midwife before I use them, but apparently Epsom salts are really, really good for um, your body taking in natural magnesium. Um, and magnesium is really good for you and your baby and also for giving birth. So I need to ask her, and if I am, I'm having Epsom salt baths again, because they used to be my favorite and they genuinely make a difference to your sleep life and my sleep life since becoming pregnant. We move on, don't we? Um, I bought loads of these. So last year, when I was doing like garden update, update type videos, I will link them below. If you want me to do like more gardening type things in my vlogs this year, let me know because I'm gonna go wild in the garden, like even more wild than I did last year. Last year, a girl in my comments, she told me, because I'm struggling with growing the grass, in the garden because uh, the previous owners just let it get full moss. So it's like really bad quality. We've made it a lot healthier, but clover seeds are a natural nitrogen fixer for soils. Anyway, so I bought six big bags of green manures, clover, white clover, and this stuff, so this girl told me to use it last year and I bought a couple of packets and I thought, oh, I don't know how that's gonna work when all this grass seed I keep using isn't working. This stuff literally filled in gaps that no amount of scarifying, deweeding, topsoiling, anything I did to grow grass before. And this grew like within two weeks, I had loads of lovely, and it actually helped the grass around it as well. So I can't wait to do that. I think I can start putting this outside in March, April time. Um, I also got these seeds. Um, I bought these actually from, it was either Home Bargains or Poundland last year, and they're actually really good. I really recommend them. I know sometimes it's a bit nervy to kind of buy things like this from really cheap supermarkets because you don't know if it's actually gonna work, but these work so well. So they're six seeds in one collections. I bought a hanging basket packet because I plan to have lots of hanging baskets this year. I've never had a hanging basket. Like, what do I do? Do I buy the bracket and the basket separately? I don't know. Um, but these are for hanging baskets. They've got um, lobelia in there, petunias, busy lizzies, morning glories, nasturtiums, and verbena. I think I can sew them now. Do you think I should sew them? What do you think, do? Hmm? I need some compost trays or egg cartons as you guys taught me. Um, then I've got a speedy seed, easy gardening. This I'm just gonna scatter um, in the mud because I'm gonna have like an even, like a much better bee and butterfly garden this year. Last year's, the bee and butterfly garden, I'm not gonna lie, that I created was pretty outstanding. Um, but I'm gonna make it a lot better this year. So this is um, sweet peas and petunia mix. And so these are great for bees. They're great for smells as well. And they're also just really beautiful. So we've got different types of things in here. 
Um, some of them are climbing. A lot of these are essentially just like really hardy regrowing things. So this is like a really good investment of money. Um, because these grow year in year out it's not just a one time thing we've got lavender foxglove and um, evening stock just all really bee and butterfly friendly i've got lots of things bee and butterfly friendly already in my garden that will rebloom this year and i'm just going to go wild with like lavenders jasmine honeysuckle and yeah just everything that smells and looks nice so yeah those are the seeds that everything i bought i think yeah oh no i bought this as well i've never bought one of these a rose plant um i thought it was a climbing rose not gonna lie but it's a climbing no it's a rose bush but that's absolutely fine because i'm sure it'll turn out really nice but yeah from home bargains um oh am i telling you the prices so the seed bags were all 49p each which i think is a great price um oh 199 not bad so um it's a rose bush and do you know what my neighbor has climbing roses up um, her house and it looks stunning and they flowered last year from I'd say March till October they were just constantly reflowering and they smelt stunning I'm not normally a rose person and I've never really thought to get roses I think that's because roses just seem overused don't they I don't know do you, do you understand what I mean but they didn't seem as interesting to me but now since seeing my neighbor's rose bush or climbing rose I was like actually roses are gorgeous they look nice, they smell so nice, bees love them, they flower for ages, they seem pretty low maintenance, so I'm going to give this a go, I'll show you what it looks like, yeah, so it's wrapped up, I need to unwrap that and put that in water, wrapped up roots, so it's already been trimmed, it's ready to go um, in the ground, you need to like get it used to the ground first, or get used to the temperature, so I need to look into what to do, but I will update you as and when that happens anyway i really want to show you the chest of drawers and tell you our plan with the chest of drawers one really good tip i have for anybody is if you're trying to save money but you want to kind of redecorate look on facebook marketplace um it's a really good place to find furniture it's where we've got these chest of drawers so and we got them for free so i'm going to take you up there now those pesky squirrels uh -oh. <laughs> eating all the bird food <sighs> so if I'm out of breath so these are the chest of drawers I know they look a little bit weird now that's because when they came they were a really dark like varnished color and we picked them up from someone in the village for free they were clearing out their mum's house and um, she wanted to give away lots of the furniture for free so that was amazing because it's solid wood solid wood a really nice chest of drawers and um, a really good size now we've sanded most of it this drawer still needs a bit of sanding and um, because it's quite the varnish i think sunk in a little bit more on that drawer and um the corners need sanding but there's so much storage especially for like a young person there's more than enough storage to go uh, nappies, changing stuff, maybe feeding type stuff, and loads of muslins and baby grows, baby vests, like just so much stuff to fit all in there. Oh, I bet there's not that to me. Um, um, so there's loads and loads of storage, which is great. One thing I do need is handles. So the original handles on these were two holes here and here, so they're a bit unique. What I can do is either buy one handle that's gonna cover this whole section, so quite a big handle, um, or again matching with the two holes. So that's just a little bit of a dilemma. Um, so if you do have any like good suggestions, do let me know. I want something like wooden. I think I've seen these gorgeous wooden animal handles online and they look really, really nice. So maybe something like that. Yeah, we'll continue to sand this down and then I can start putting stuff in it I suppose and actually seeing what things I do and don't have. Nerve wrecking. That was a really good win in my opinion. I think it will stay there. We might move it over to this side of the room um, just because there's gaps either side. So I mean the camera always makes rooms look smaller but they're, they're, that is quite a sizeable part of the wall so even like the cot could fit there when we eventually choose one i'm still looking at the snizz cots i think they look great 
let me put the breast pump on here so I'm not advertising it out the window. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to get on with doing stuff around the house because um, needs doing and probably going to have to go for a walk later to actually make my steps up for Lent. <laughs> kind of regretting setting the target now. <laughs> no, it'll be good, but I do have a lot of steps to do. Um, so I'll see you guys in a sec. Just loving this uh, very sunny weather. I'm literally dripping from head to toe. Listening to my Audible book because once you find a book you like, you don't mind doing stuff like this because it's an excuse to listen to your book. And yeah. We are both back from our walks. I've changed my t-shirt because we're about to have um, noodles. 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 I will quickly, well I'll show you our dinner but I'll give you a quick update on our steps. Uh, we've done well on day one considering it's rained all day Lawrence. Yeah we have done very well. Unfortunately it's taken me two walks to get kind of within touching distance of my yeah. thing. Yeah. Lawrence has quite long legs. What were my dress like? <laughs> look, what do I, I don't even know what I look like. We're having stir fry and I know when I wear white, I spill everything. Mm. Anyway, so Lawrence's target is going to be 10,000 10, steps <coughs> or the equivalent of calories burned. So he can go for a cycle ride and make sure he burns the same amount of calories as 10,000 steps. Yeah. Um, so it's always the same level of fitness and mine is 8,000 steps or again the equivalent calorie burning thing we're not really calorie burners in this house but it's the only way to like make sure we're doing 10,000 or 8,000 yeah like the idea is to do 10,000 the same bit. amount if you like it's hard for you particularly to like yeah. do the same kind of exercise day in day out yeah so anyway so, um, I, my target every day is going to be at least 8,000 steps. So far, and it's about 6pm, I've done 8,630 steps. Mm. How many have you done? Uh, I have done 9,870. Wow, you'll definitely get 10,000. Yeah. So, day one of Lent is going good. How did your day one go? Let's eat because we're both starving, aren't we? Yeah, we've got Ooh. some stir fry and I made this all by myself. Oh, yeah with some black beans that I got off the internet. Lawrence made black bean sauce. That's how much, how good he is at cooking. I'm very lucky. Anyway. Yeah, sorry, the camera cut out. <laughs> yeah, it's homemade black bean sauce. Homemade black bean sauce. Um, yeah, if you want the recipe, ask me and I'll ask Lawrence and then Lawrence will tell me and I'll tell you. <laughs> I look yeah, like an old- That's the most efficient way of doing farmer it. Farmer in Texas City. Do Texas I? Texas City. Look at, <laughs> look at me. Yeah. No, you look good. You look good. You look good.